Hey guys, uh, James Brown here again. Actually, this is my. I'm gonna probably put this before everything, uh, and I might explain similar things in this video as I did before because I was intending to use my other videos later as an earlier video. And uh, what I realized is I want to share some information before, um, just so that you can have a bigger picture perspective but uh, again my uh, my story just to share a little bit about myself I, I, I guess I'm introducing myself to you uh, for the first time here all over again <laughs> so uh, I'll share a little bit about myself I I have been online for about a year and a half now I think maybe 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 a little bit longer, maybe coming on, uh, yeah, almost almost two years, kind of a few months. And uh, what I want to do is I'm going to share with you uh, some things that I've learned in the last couple of years. I've been in business offline, gosh, since I was in third grade, really, but <laughs> I don't know if that really counts. Uh, I started out with some paper outs. I had some. I had some uh, uh, just being a subcontractor doing different construction jobs um, offline and in high school. I had uh, DJing, I did well drilling, I did uh, help renovating homes, I did some fencing. Um, I even went in the military for four years. And then I also worked for Sam's Club for three months. Uh, that was my actual extent of job experience. Uh, and then I got out of the military and I started a construction business, worked there for several years with some small private real estate investors. And then I went into a niche industry with storm damage chasing. I'm, I'm sure you probably heard of some of that with the hail storms and the, uh, uh, you know, with some damages on the roof, siding, windows, gutters, whatever, just from the hail and from the wind. And I would go and help people with their uh, properties and make sure they're taken care of and get as much money as I could from the insurance companies to be able to pay for that um, minus their deductible. They'd, they'd have to pay for that. But I have transitioned over into the internet business because what I wanted to do is learn how to make a quicker income on the internet. Uh, it's not as much as I used to make uh, in the industry that I did, but what happens is, is something I can't do in anything I've ever done before is, you know, when I actually go out there and do a tile job, I can never make money off that tile job ever again. I might get a referral from it or I might get another client down the road or something if I'm lucky, you know, if the person likes me enough and likes the work enough, they might use me again and in a different part of their house or something like that. But uh, it doesn't always happen. And uh, you just got to go out there and you got to do a lot of extra work to come up with new clients. It's always new, new and newer clients and you got to keep putting back in the work. Whereas on, on the internet, what we can do is we can teach people how to work once and set it up once. And then once you got it set up and you can start optimizing it, you can maintain it and make sure that uh, you know, just do a little bit uh, of, of tweaking here and there over the course of time. And then what happens is you're constantly getting traffic redriven over and over to the same stuff that you've already done. And it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it, it, it's just constantly working and it works around the, the, the world. So um, whatever you do, when you do it right, and you learn exactly what you need to do, what happens is your efforts compound. Whereas, so if I go out there and I create uh, you know, a six-figure income in my business offline, the next year, if I wanna create a six-figure income, I have to work the same amount that I did the year prior to as I, as I want, and it continues on each sequential year. Whereas in internet business, what we can do is we can actually work once and that income will continue to sustain as long as you're tweaking it and maintaining it and updating different things as the market increases. You know, people get more informed. There's new tools, there's new concepts 
that come out and you have to add some of those things. So there's a little bit of time involved, but it's not nearly as much time as it would be involved if you had to do the work from scratch, starting all over and doing exactly what you have to do. And the nice thing is, is you get multiple clients from the same work that you've done. So uh, it's a little bit of upfront work, but once you do that work, then it compounds. And, and, and if you want to do that work again, it only creates more income for you. You automatically can give yourself a raise just by doing a little extra work. So it's up to you. You just educate yourself, do some work, and there you go. So uh, the reason why I transitioned over is because one, yes, I can make a lot of money in my industry. There are a lot of guys known to make multiple seven figures in the roofing industry. Uh, this industry is a little bit different. There's actually multiple hundreds of uh, thousands. Of, there's people who make seven, eight, nine, even 10 figures, uh, and I believe even 11 figures in this industry. And uh, it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. The next 10 years, entrepreneur.com has stated that in the next five years, there are going to be over 30 million people looking for business on the Internet to learn how they can create an income on the Internet. Uh, and every day right now, there are 30,000 or approximately about 30,000, about a third of them, 30 percent, are looking right now on the Internet about 10,000 people, 9, 10,000 people a day. Or no, every hour, I'm sorry, every hour are looking for uh, how to make money on the internet. And so what we're going to, what we're teaching people to do is how to position yourself as a figure of an authority on the internet so that you can place yourself in front of that traffic in a way where they can just search and you're there. You're already there. They're ready to buy. They're ready to look. They're trying to find somebody they can trust and know and like, and they find you. And so, uh, uh, that's why I decided to move to this internet because I just wanted to create something that will give me a little bit more freedom in my life. I was able to go out with my buddies and friends and, and travel and visit my uh, family and, and do things that a lot of people weren't able to do because of the income that I made and the business that I was in. But at the same time, I never was able to do it the way that I wanted to do. I wasn't able to spend time with them the way I wanted to, that I desired to, and I wasn't able to get in the scriptures. I wanted, you know, one of my passions is getting to know God and, and digging deeper in, and helping other people to know more about God and more about why the purpose, the reason why we're here. And I just want to uh, connect and, and, and unite a lot of the churches. And I have some big dreams and, and passions and visions that I have that I want to go out there and God is the center of a lot of it. And so I want to, in order to do a lot of that stuff, you just need more money. You know, you need to be able to have a, a stronger income coming in. You need to be able to have more time available to be able to do some training and research and so on and so forth. And, and you need more people. And the only way you're going to get more people is if you have the time to go out there and be able to bring them in and talk to them and discuss things and, and build the vision. And so a lot of this is in order for me to be able to get the time that I want and be able to have freedom. You know, my wife and I, we really want to travel around. Yes, we want to help a lot of people, but I also want to experience life too. You know, I'm not just some guy that wants to sit in, in, in the slums and, and help the poor people get out of where they're at. And I, I do want to do that, you know, and, and I say that, I say that humbly because uh, I don't want to neglect that they go through a lot and that I am extremely lucky to have what I'm having now. But what if I'm in a position where I can go and literally change complete, you know, communities and be able to give them computers and be able to establish themselves on the Internet to do something just like this one day in the future? It would literally change history as we know it if I can start creating established places where things like that can happen. But... Uh, that's not where I'm going here. Maybe something like that could come along the road. My point is, is that we want to travel the world. We don't want to just help people. We want to also enjoy life. And, you know, one guy told me a long time ago, he said, you know what? He's like, it's, it's awesome that you really want to help people spiritually. You know, it's awesome that you want to do all these things and you love God and you know him so deeply and you have a passion to help people and help your family and blah, blah, blah. But make sure, James, that you live in life to the full because Jesus said in John 10.10 10, that he came so that we can have life to the full. 
And I just never, you know, I thought that I felt like I was delaying gratification so much that I was missing out on life. And a lot of the reason why I wasn't able to reach a lot of the people out there was because I wasn't experiencing life. I'm just being honest. You know, I delayed it for years and years throughout my entire 20s and I wasn't able to live life and experience the things that normal people experience. And when it came to relating to a lot of people, I just didn't have anything to relate with. And I felt really behind the bar and I felt very insecure about that and I didn't have anything to talk about except business. And people are like, is business just your life? And I'm like, no, I just want to help people and this is just my you know way that I'm trying to make some money so I can go out there and help them and and uh, so you know I want to be able to have the best of all the worlds and so this is why I haven't embarked on this journey and what I want to do is share with you guys where we're going and 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 what we discovered here I'm going to share what we discovered a little bit and what you're going to need to be able to do the same thing and and again, where we are going right now is we want to we want to help a hundred six figure earners per year. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of people, but that's where we're going. And whether people believe it or not, that's where we're heading. So if you want to join us along the way, you can be one of those guys that we're helping towards that uh, direction. Yeah. So uh, you can't get there unless you have a guy that knows how to get there and where he's going. And a lot of it has to do with mindset. A lot of it has to do with just being able to pick up little things because success leaves trails and I'm just going to give you what I've learned over the gosh it's been I don't know how many years just understanding things and I'm going to help you to shorten the learning curve by a ridiculous amount of time scratching off years from a wasted time in my life to be able to give it to you in a packaged uh, form so format so uh, that's why we're, that's what we're, we're going join us click the link below if you want to uh, uh, join what we're doing here and uh, I'm going to share with you what uh, what you need so on the internet the first thing that you need to have is you gotta have you gotta in order to make money you gotta be able to sell something I know it's like the worst word everybody hates they're like yeah, I don't want to sell, I want to teach, or I want to share, right? Okay, so what people don't realize is I just want to dispel your mindset here. A lot of people have this perspective where if you're going, if you're going, you know, like a business person or like a an insurance sales guy that goes door to door with a briefcase or something and like talks to, you know, goes from house to house or like maybe an ADT guy or something like that, okay? You can do stuff like that. I mean, I don't know if you wanna do stuff like that, but that's not what I'm trying to do, okay? <laughs> but how would you like to be able to learn how to sell in a powerful way to be able to present something and package it and with the proper messaging to be able to present it before somebody on a video, do it one time, one time, guys, and be able to share that video all around the globe forever and ever and ever and maybe update it a couple of times here and there but you only have to do it that time and when you're done it's done and it's selling to everybody forever and you don't have to waste your time going door to door you don't have to waste your time doing thing after thing talking to person after person after person after person matter of fact I can show you how to set things up so that you don't even have to talk to anybody until they buy from you. And that's what I'm going to do for you today. So uh, selling is not uh, a problem. It's a challenge. Okay. And it, it, you can't solve a problem at the same level of thinking that it was created at. Okay. So if it's a challenge, then what it means is you can learn how to do this. You don't want to run away from it. You want to attack it head on and be like, well, what exactly does that mean? Does that mean I have to like scam people or scheme them into buying stuff they don't want? No, that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get in front of the people that already want what you have and provide them something with integrity, something sharing uh, inspiration, sharing just teaching them great concepts and great things that will help them to do what they already want to do anyways. And that's it. So, guys, selling is not a bad word, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, but you got to have something to sell. So, what do you got to have? You got to have, number one, you got to have a product, okay? 
you can't you can't uh, you, you, you can't get money unless you have some sort of product now a lot of people think of a product as like maybe like a you know a computer is a product or something or maybe you know you know, sell some markers right you can have that you can sell products like that okay maybe it's a uh um you know a diet pill or something like that you can have products like that okay but you got to have something to sell uh it doesn't need to be something that you create we have we have products that we use that are not even we don't sell our own stuff now eventually down the road we will be selling our own stuff but your products don't actually have to be an item that you see in a store a product could be also something that you're sharing with people something of value something that will give somebody more value than they are paying for so say for instance uh, somebody wants to spend a certain amount of money for like a suit and they look at that suit and they're like man you know it says seven hundred dollars you know and I can get it for a hundred bucks but I really feel like I would pay fifty for that well, it's because that suit just doesn't look good enough to that person or they just don't feel good enough about that suit to be able to pay that much money. And a lot of people end up spending a lot of money and they regret it later on down the road because of whatever reason. And so whatever that's, uh, you know, some people will buy it because they're like, man, I'm getting a steal. You know, some people will get, buy it because, man, I feel good in this or it looks good, the cut of it. You know, whatever it is. They have their reason where they feel it's more valuable. And so the thing is, is when you sell something to someone, they have to feel so, they have to feel what they're purchasing is so valuable to them that they would pay, you know, two, three, four, five times as much for it without having uh, the discount or the sale or whatever else. They want to feel that they got a, a great deal when they purchase something. And so, what we're going to show you how to do is how to either one, make your own products or two, how to use a product from somebody else to be able to make a commission off that product and you don't have to spend the hundreds of thousands of dollars that go into making a product. You can actually use somebody else's and make a, a, a 30, 50, 70, 80% commission off of their products. Uh, depending on what type of product it is and that's the first thing you need to have you got to have a product okay the second thing you need to have is you got to have some sort of system all right now without a system you're not going to be able to keep things orderly and you're not going to be able to uh, set things up in a way that is going to be able to help you make money in an organized fashion okay you got to have something to be able to automate things and make it easier to save you time because what do it save you time money and I'm not gonna write it down but uh, you, you want what we're here for is to be able to make more money save some time be able to do the things that we want to do obviously and that's where it's all about and by having a system it's gonna help you to automate certain things in your business to be able to duplicate your time because the, the studies show that the average person in order to be to make an average income to sustain life on earth needs about 36 hours a day in order to do so with the way that our dollar has dropped and the economies uh, with the economies declining around the world so um, <clears throat> number three you got to have a product number one number two system and number three you got to be able to have some sort of uh, funnel you got to have a funnel process, right? Because without the funnel, you're not going to be able to uh, get people into the place where they're, they're uh, getting the product. So what we call this, this funnel, are the three C's of business, okay? And what I'm going to do with you is share with you on the next video what exactly the three C's of business are so guys I will see you in the next video take care I hope this is good information for you and uh, uh, if, you, if you're seeing this on YouTube or somewhere click a link in the description wherever it is and uh, join us and we'll see if we can't get you in the works of things and help you to reach that six-figure income level
All right, take care, guys. Talk to you soon.